What's up, Akamigos? Happy 4th of July. I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be at Anime Expo this weekend, July 4th through 7th, and I'll be performing every day from 2 to 3 at the Songbird Oak Arena booth. All that info is in the description below, so drop by if you want to say hi and catch me playing the new Lyric Oak Arena, which I'd love to review for you right now. So stay tuned. <laughs> What's up, Akamigos? My name is David, and as I mentioned, today I'm going to be discussing the Lyric, which is one of the latest Ocarinas in the Somber Collection. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know whenever I post any tutorial, review, or music video. So the Lyric has a really interesting history with Songbird in that it first came into development in 2013 when I was doing a Kickstarter project for my first album, Leave Luck to Heaven. One of the rewards for this project was a brand new ocarina, a prototype in fact, and I was really good friends with Songbird at the time, so I had asked if he could come up with a new model that I could play and test and send to my Kickstarter backer. So he was very gracious and he spent a couple weeks developing this model that you see before you. Uh, it was before it was called the Lyric. It was the D-E-R signature Ocarina at the time. And we went through a bunch of iterations until we decided to put the project on hold because he was working on some other Ocarinas at the time. A couple years later, he had expressed interest in revamping that Ocarina, and so he spent a little bit more time on tweaking it. I gave him some feedback about the position of the tone holes and what things he could do to make it more comfortable, and he came out with this current iteration of the Lyric. So let's talk about the aesthetics. Now he's making them in a couple different finishes. This current one is the Pro model, which is my personal favorite. And I really love just how it glistens. I love how the light reflects off of it. And uh, it just has these really gorgeous pink, purple, uh, even greenish tones, depending on where you hold it in the light. Going into the ergonomics, it's a really interesting shape. The angle is almost linear and it feels pretty comfortable in your wrist because of that. Like, it's not angled making this wrist in a weird position. It's more like a recorder or Native American flute in that sense. As you can see, it does have Japanese style sub holes so that they're both in the right hand. And he also created these grooves for your fingers to easily find those two sub holes uh, with comfort and ease. This is a larger Alto C Ocarina and I have larger hands, so the placement of the holes is pretty comfortable for me. They're, it's pretty spacious. The one thing that takes a little bit getting used to is the arrangement of the thumb holes, because typically on a linear style Ocarina, you, li you lift up your left thumb first and then your right thumb, but they have it reversed. From my understanding, it has to do with the physics of this particular Ocarina and its shape. If you have trouble getting used to it, I did a little bit at first. You can still lift your left thumb first, but you have to blow it a little bit stronger to get an accurate D. Then you actually have to decrease your breath a little bit to get the high E. It's almost the same, actually. And then talking about the sound itself, I'm in love with the tone of this ocarina. As I like to describe it, it's a darker tone. It's very similar to my Mop Around ocarina, which I was really pushing them for because I love that tone as well. The breath curve is excellent. I guess I would describe it as more of a softer airflow, which is my personal preference. There's a slight shift to the tone, which sounds really nice. One of the best things is it doesn't require the acute bend at the very top. And I also love that it doesn't require you to really drop your breath for the low uh, B, B flat, and A notes with the sub holes. Um, it's a very beautiful breath curve. It's very comfortable. It just feels really nice to play. So in summary, I really do love this ocarina. I love the finish, I love the tone. Uh, it's very comfortable to play. And as you can see on my channel, I've been playing it a lot lately for those reasons. So I would definitely recommend the Lyric Ocarina. 
That's gonna do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, leave a comment to let me know what I should review next. A very special thank you to my patrons for supporting these videos. And if you'd like to help support them as well, be sure to check out patreon.com slash docjazz4, where you can sign up and get MP3s, backtracks, and sheet music, as well as one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons as a thank you for your support. So thank you for checking that out. And I'm posting new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. So be sure to check back on those days. And until then, I hope you guys have an amazing week. I'll see you later.